Hi guys, I hope you're well. Thank you for joining me for today's video. If you're new around here, my name is Charlotte and I do fashion and style videos. I'm trying to do it two a week, so bear with me. And today I have a video all about jeans. So I've been in my wardrobe and I have taken out my favourite blue denim straight leg jeans. They're Mm. I think they're all from different um, places on the high street and I just thought I would talk you through why I love them, kind of pros and cons about them and where I buy my denim and then at the end of the video I'm also going to recommend a few of my favourite styles as well on the high street because I did a video about a year ago, I'll leave links, um, that was quite popular, um, about in between jean sizes. And since then, I've lost even more weight. So some of my jeans that I used to love, I haven't yet replaced because I'm slowly replacing them with the sizes that fit uh, rather all in one go. So I will also leave some recommendations at the end of this video as well. Um, I'll leave the time on the screen here if you just want to skip straight to that to see uh, what jeans to buy on the high street at the moment. And I will link everything that I'm going to talk about in the description box below down there as well you'll also be able to subscribe to my channel and um, if you want already and i will also leave a link if it's not live when this video goes up i'll update it later of an igtv video which is styling my top shop straight leg raw hem jeans which are my absolute favorites um with a jeans and a nice top i think there's four or five looks there so if you want some outfit inspiration for jeans as well i will also leave that link so Whew, that was a mouthful. We'll get into today's video, but I'll just quickly tell you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this really cute milkmaid style. It's a body from Misguided, and if I do say so, it makes your boobs look absolutely amazing. I'm wearing some Mima Nida necklaces and a ASOS or Topshop headband, um, and a couple of hoops and, and other stories that I'll leave linked. And I will start talking to you about the first pair of jeans, which I'm actually wearing, but I will do some cutaways. Like I said, my absolute favourite jeans have to be Topshop Raw Hem Straight Leg Jeans. I used to have the dark pair, the bleach pair and this colour in a size 28. Then I lost weight and I was like, oh, they don't do in-between sizes. And then Topshop started doing in-between sizes so I was able to get my favourite jeans again. So I got only in the mid style in a 27 and now I think I need a 26. Um, but they do have quite a lot of variation across the range. But the reason why I love them so much, they're very much like a pair of Levi's jeans but they're a lot more affordable because they're top shop prices. And I just love them. I love the colours. Um, I love the fit. Um, like I say, these ones have gone a little bit bigger because I, I've lost a little bit more weight. So I do need to go for a 26. But they are just comfortable. They fit perfectly everywhere from the waist to the crotch to the bum. They don't go too baggy with wear. But with straight leg jeans, you kind of want like a little bit of a relaxed look. And you will probably hear so many people rave about these jeans. And there are so many reasons why. So if you were going to buy one pair of straight leg denim for your wardrobe, I would say you have to, you must go either in store or online and try the raw hem, raw hem straight leg jeans. I think they're available in lots of different colours as well. So I thought I would start with my favourites. Now onto a second pair of straight leg denim which have been very much loved since I got them. I managed to pick these up from Cheshire Oaks. Um, MacArthur Glen, so I'm not sure where about she live in the UK, but it's a discounted designer village and they have a Calvin Klein store in there, which isn't really somewhere I would normally look for jeans, but they're my favourite colour, kind of in between a light, a bleach and a light wash denim. Um, I just think it's a really classic colour. These were the t-shirt, absolutely amazing. I wear them with my Balenciaga Triple S all the time. These I have, they're a straight ankle high rise, premium Italian fabric and they are so nice. These make your bum look amazing. They have quite high crotch I would say but then that kind of like gives you the peachy bum look as I'll try and show you in the cutaways. We just have one button and a zip um, and then Calvin Klein jeans detailing on the back. But what I love about these as well is I'm a sucker for a raw hem as you will probably see from my favourite pairs of jeans I'm going to share and it's like a step hem so it steps down and we've got some raw hem here. I just think that a classic pair of 90s jeans get so much wear out of them and I think I paid £15 instead of £100 for them. So if you have a MacArthur Glen near you, I know there's one in York as well and obviously there's Bista Village down south, but go and check out Calvin Klein. I have linked a Calvin Klein pair that I found on ASOS that are very similar to these, but I do absolutely love these. These get massive points, like I said, for making your bum look like a peach, which is probably why I love them. 
For my third pair of denim, I've had these for a long time. I first featured them in a blog post maybe nearly three years ago is when I used to work with Revolve which very sadly I don't anymore and I would love to because I absolutely love their clothing and I have a pair of their own jeans so they have their own jean brand called Girlfriend um, so this style probably isn't available anymore because I said for how long I've had them but they will have some of the styles uh, linked below again we have a raw hem we have a step hem can we see a trend coming in this video for the type of denim that I love but if you like it, stick with it. These are very much like the Calvin Klein jeans, apart from they're a bit more distressed, so we've got some distressing hair, uh, we've got kind of crease lines in the denim and a bit of a faded effect across the front. Again, these make your bum look really good, um, but they're not as tight on the crotch. They button all the way up, which is a very kind of Levi's, um, rustic vintage style type of denim, I think, and I do really rate these. I would, actually say I probably need a new size in them. These are a size 27, 100% cotton. I probably maybe need to dabble into 26 now in these. So I might, this has inspired me to go and have a look on the Revolve website and maybe treat myself to a new pair of girlfriend jeans. Now these are quite a recent pair. You might have seen in my video on Everlane who are a sustainable fashion brand. I will leave it linked in a little eye whichever corner of the screen it may be, and I have a pair of straight leg jeans. And I did say in that video that these may champion my Topshop straight leg jeans, and they just might, but only just, because the one downside about this pair of jeans is that they are shorter in the crotch. So, I mean, when you've got them on, they feel a little bit tight around this area. But these are 100% cotton again, I think, or 98% cotton, 2% elastic, uh, Japanese denim. They have so much stretch in them. Uh, they're so comfortable. They feel so soft, really beautifully made. Um, a little bit of a lighter wash here. So these are very summer appropriate. Uh, I think I'll get a lot of wear of these again with my Balenciaga and white t-shirt. Very basic, but it's the type of outfit that I will just throw on and you know it always looks good. Mine are in a size 26, I'm pretty sure these ones are, but I can't tell from looking, but yeah, I'm pretty sure these are a size 26 and they're the high rise straight. So again, a straight leg. I just think a straight leg is timeless. Very 90s, I love that kind of relaxed vibe and yeah that's pretty much what all this denim is that I'm going to be showing you but Everlane again also do some really nice denim especially if you're into your sustainable um, fashion brands as well it might be worth going and checking those guys out. I'm actually really conscious that I am just all boobs in today's video it's probably the angle of the camera coming down so because the boobs um, moving on to an next pair of jeans I have a couple of pairs from Levi's the first being a pair which I've been meaning forever to try and get my mum to put a new button on it because I'm a nightmare when it comes to sewing things. And these are actually from Nasty Gal. So I've got these again. I can show you a very embarrassing picture from Instagram with a very savage fringe when I was wearing the jeans back then. And I'm pretty sure that was probably, oh, again, one to two years ago that I first got these jeans. But I adore them. And I don't know if Nasty Gal do Levi type jeans anyway, but they were advertised on Nasty Gal as being vintage jeans. So they weren't advertised as Levi's at all. They arrived, they had a Levi label on the back, 501s, which before then I'd always wanted to find some 501s, vintage ones that fit me, never found any in any vintage stores. So I love these. Shows you how much um, sizes have changed because, well, UK 10, but they're 31 waist, which wouldn't be a 10 now, but I mean, sizes are forever changing, aren't they? And again, it's just a beautiful straight leg, light, mid denim colour. Uh, I love the button up detailing again, like the last ones. These are a little bit big now, but I don't think that matters with Levi's. I think you can get away with it. And I do love Levi's for being really bum hogging. Again, they make your bum look great. And there's just something really iconic about the red. Levi's label. So I'm definitely going to make sure that I get my mum to try and put a button on them for me. Uh, what I do do as well with jeans like those, I might put them through a hot wash so when they're a little bit big I will wash them on like a 60 degree plus wash. It can sometimes ruin the colour of the denim but because these are all kind of like faded vintagey type styles anyway you can probably get away with it so I do try and shrink them in the wash where possible because if I love something I want to keep it. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll go and get them tailored. If anybody's had jeans tailored and the seams brought in, do let me know in the comments below because I'd love to know if that actually works because I would just love to kind of recycle my 
pre-loved jeans rather than continuously adding new ones. So yeah, let me know if you've done that because actually, yeah, I might look into that. Sounds like a good idea. Now moving on to a different brand, I have some Zara jeans and I have to be honest, I don't have that many Zara jeans because previously, and I'm talking well over a year ago going shopping in Zara, the sizes just confused me and if I'm shopping and I get my normal size, it don't fit me, it's really tight, it kind of puts me off going and you know trying to find out what size that I am. But I do have a pair that I picked up, I think I bought these online in the sale, Zara Women premium denim collection. I have absolutely no idea what size these ones are. Yeah, absolutely no idea. Oh, there we go, USA 4. So these are a UK size 8. They're a little bit more of a warm blue, and I, I don't normally love this kind of blue, but it is a little bit different to the ones I've already got. You might be thinking it looks exactly the same, but the contrast of like the orange stitching against a deeper blue rather than a faded vintage blue doesn't really do it for me, but they are a really comfortable pair of jeans. That's what I will say about this pair, so it's why I thought I would include them. And of course we have the frayed hem, my absolute favorite. If anybody could guess what type of jeans I like the most, leave it in the comment below, I'm sure you'll get it right. But I just thought I would throw in a pair from Zara there as well um, as a alternative shopping destination if you're looking for your denim. And I have had some good wear out of them and I will say they are damn comfortable. Moving on to two more pairs of Levi's. This pair is too big. <laughs> so I do need to swap this pair. I also need to go and change my battery because it's flashing. So I'm back. Hopefully I'm in the same place. But I was talking about Levi's denim. Now this pair is too big. I would say this is the wedgie jeans and I seem to think at the moment they're kind of like a really popular style but I love the cut, I love the fit, I love everything about them apart from the fact they do give quite a bit so you do have to wash them quite a lot, they don't hold the shape very well and there's nothing that is more of a pet peeve on denim for me than when your arse, well sorry, arse, when your bum, when the bum, the material around your peach goes saggy it's not very flattering, is it? Let's be honest, you want it to be like, oh, look at my bum. So that is a pet peeve. The jeans do that if you've worn them like a couple of times. Because um, I tend to live in my denim quite a bit and I don't wash it loads because I kind of want to preserve it. But yeah, a little bit annoying about these. But it could also be to do with the sizing that it's wrong. But I have the Levi wedgie jeans. I really want another pair, but they are quite expensive. So I'm waiting for them to hopefully go in the sale. These work from Urban Outfitters, but I'll leave a couple of places where you can buy their styles. They're more cropped, they're kind of like a straight leg with a tiny bit of a flare to them, and we have the frayed hems, which is why I love them. I also love this colour of denim, I think it's perfect for summer, and like I said, there's just something that's so iconic about the Levi's branding. So I do really like them, but I hate that they kind of lose their shape quite a bit, so that is a negative about the Levi's wedgies, if you've been thinking about those. Another pair, again, is another Levi's pair from Nasty Girl. So I went back on the site after getting the original um, vintage jeans, which turned up and they were Levi's. So I thought I'd try my look again, bearing in mind, like I said, this was like a year ago. So I didn't check before I filmed this video, I probably should have, uh, but I'm sure you can get styles similar to these at any thrift store. Like I actually really want to go and do a thrift store shop. So if you'd like me to do like a vintage clothing haul, uh, let me know in the comments below because Carmen Manchester has so much choice, but I've never really shopped in there before. So maybe I could um, go and have a little browse in there. But I have, again, these are a pair of, it doesn't actually say, it's just obviously a really old pair of jeans, 521s I think, rather than a 501. Again, a UK 10, they're a little bit big. These are a very loose leg. This is a pair that I think I maybe need to try and shrink in the wash, but they're just so relaxed, they're so comfortable, and again, they kind of like cusp your bum. I don't know if it's something to do with the stitching around the back here, but they do. They just make your bum look really good. Um, and yeah, I absolutely love these as well, so I just thought I'd quickly throw them in there as well. And now, moving on to my last pair of jeans. This is a dark blue pair. They're not really straight leg, but I wanted to share the brand because I do really like the fit of their jeans. I have another few I've got some other pairs, but again, they're kind of like in my old discarded pile because they're just too big, and me trying them on is not going to do them any justice. But this pair fits, but they are a little bit on the larger side, but I wanted to share them anyway. And it's Amazon Find, which is their Amazon's own fashion brand. And I have a dark blue pair, waist 27, leg 32. For height reference, I am 5 foot 8 for all of the inserts that you've seen, 26 inch waist. 
27 inch hips. Um, yeah, so they're my sizes, but I'll leave them down below. And this is the pair there, a straight leg again, a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more of a flare, tiny bit cropped, but they're very high waisted. Um, and they make your bum look good, but again, they feel a little bit tight in the cropped area. They did when, before I lost a bit of weight, now that they're a little bit looser, they don't, so it could just be a sizing thing. Um, but they have so many different choices of denim on the site, but be careful with your sizing. I would say with Amazon Find, order two sizes. So if you're in between or you're unsure, order two sizes because some jeans have come. I've ordered some 27s in some other styles. I can't even get them over my knees. So I think it's sometimes look at the draw or maybe depends on the style, I would say. So it's a little bit hit and miss on sizing there. But if you can order one or two sizes in a pair of jeans that you really like because they're really affordable and they are a little bit different than styles on the high street, um, then yeah, that is what I would recommend with Amazon Find. But out of all my jeans, I have to say that my favourites are my Topshop jeans I'm wearing and then my Calvin Klein's would be a close second. They're the two pair of jeans that I constantly reach for in my wardrobe at the moment if I'm going to get dressed, if I'm wearing jeans today, which is most days. And they're my most loved pairs. I'm sure Evelyn will probably start to kind of mix in with that scene as well and I want to try and find some vintage Levi's that fit me really well. Um, as well as Cal Vintage, if anyone is familiar with vintage or thrift stores in the Cheshire, Manchester area, I would love if you do let me know in the comments below and I can go check them out as well. Just going to grab a notebook so I can talk you through a few of the styles on the high street that I would also recommend. Styles I've previously loved and I probably need to reorder again in sizes that fit. So I will include inserts on the screen and all information and links down below. Correct. Right, so a little bit of swatting off earlier and the styles that I just wanted to talk you through in case you wanted to do some new denim shopping on the high street. So I have a couple of places. The first one being ASOS. I used to live in the ASOS skinny jeans with ripped knees. I used to live in their Farley jeans. I used to love them so much. Since they haven't fitted me and I've tried other styles, for some reason I haven't gone back there, not quite sure why, but I do need to order some more ASOS denim. So the styles that I would recommend is their Florence jean, they have a massive range of colours on the site for those, and then also, like I just mentioned before, their Farley high waisted jeans. So that's two pairs of ASOS. Moving on to Topshop, of course, it's got to be the raw hemp straight leg jeans, you can't beat these. I promise you, go try them. Let me know if you love them or let me know what you think if you do go and try in a pair in store or online. Um, also, they do Calvin Klein's there that I mentioned. I love my pair, so they're linked. And then they now also do button hem straight legs. So straight legs, but they have like really cool buttons, but rather than being hidden, you can see the buttons. Um, and I love that trend actually, so I might go and order them. That is Topshop covered and other stories, pretty much any of their straight leg jeans from under the stories. Unfortunately, again, the ones that I kept from the haul are too big. And they're like, they did actually, well, they did stretch a bit, but the denim is really nice. So that's another store that I should probably revisit. And then a couple of places that people rave about. And I have to be honest, I have tried both, but I've struggled with the sizes when I was in between sizes, now that I'm just a 26 instead of a 27, I might be able to fit into some, and they are BDG, which I think is Urban Outfitters' own denim brand, and then also Cheap Monday. So if anybody has any comments on those, and whether they're worth me trying, do let me know in the comments below. Also, give me some feedback if you would like to, because I always love hearing what you guys think about my content, so what you thought about my little run through of my denim. Would you like me to do it about other collections and other like items in my wardrobe? It was actually suggested by one of you very kindly. So thank you for the suggestion. I've actually really enjoyed filming something like this rather than my usual just styling videos. So yeah, if you've got any comments, questions or suggestions, let me know down below. You can always find me on Instagram for daily updates and I will see you guys very soon. Thanks for watching.